<laughs> well, get ready because we're all about to see the I voted sticker pictures on social media. The midterm elections are just five weeks away now. Oh, yeah. You all are busy with that over oh, at Newsy gosh. for sure. No you know, and there's one group of American folks uh, who are living with disabilities who struggle with the first step in the voting process, registering. Our friend Danielle Seed is in South Florida, where one group is working to change that. This is our registration form. It's the standard form for the state of Florida. Florida is often known to be a battleground state. A handful of votes can really make all the difference in an upcoming election. Some of the barriers that we're seeing that impair an individual's ability to vote or discourages them um, is the inaccessibility of polling and registration sites. CEO of Unicorn Children's Foundation, Sharon Alexander, says that 12% of individuals here in Palm Beach County have one or more disabilities. And right now, about a third of that population is not likely to vote. 12%, that's a huge number. Uh, we know in terms of developmental and cognitive impairments, one in five children are diagnosed, so it's a huge segment of the population. Colin Fisher is among that population. And today, with the help of the League of Women Voters, they changed that. We have a voice in who's going to lead our world in the future, you know, and that's there. I definitely think that's important. It is a right. It is an opportunity. And just because you have a disability should not preclude you from taking part in this civic responsibility. And it's as easy as that, Colin. You are now a registered voter. And it is very